Hi Stampers, it's Jackie Ballheis from Clumpin' Stampers coming to you from Zealand, Michigan. I have kind of a fun preview video for you. Um, if you follow me on my blog and Facebook, you've probably noticed that I haven't shared a whole lot yet about the holiday catalog. Um, I know some other demonstrators, you know, like to do the big reveal and show you the products, but I thought I would wait to show you some samples. Um, I have been stamping like crazy with the handful of products that I was able to pre-order, and I want to just share kind of a sneak peek of some of the upcoming projects that I have for you. Now, I'm not going to give you a lot of details on these projects, but they will, and a few of them are already posted. I'll tell you which ones, but... Um, they're all things that I will be featuring on my blog in the coming months, okay? So make sure you go over there. It's clompandstampers.com. I'll have it listed at the end of this video and also a link to it. But make sure you go over there and subscribe so you don't miss any of the details on any of these projects. So here's our holiday catalog. If you don't have one already and you don't have another demonstrator sending you one, I would be happy to. Just go ahead and get a hold of me and I'll pop it in the mail to you. Make sure you send me your mailing address when you contact me as well. So. This is the front cover. Now, as we flip the page here, the first thing we're gonna look at is Carols of Christmas, okay? This is a bundle. Now, some of you have already purchased this because it was available um, as this month is kind of an early ordering. So here's what our stamp set looks like, um, Peace on Earth, and then these are our thinlets that go with it. Now, the fun thing about this bundle is it's not necessarily stamped images that have thinlets that go with it. For instance, these trees, they simply cut out the trees. There is no stamp that goes with them. But then other ones do kind of coordinate. We've got the deer and the deer and ones to cut out the ornaments. So lots of versatility. The other thing is this one does not necessarily just have to be for Christmas cards. So quick peek at some cards here. These are ones that have actually been posted already on my blog. Um, so if you'd like details on them, by all means, go check them out. Like I said, here's our trees. There's no stamp. Here's the deer. I did not stamp it. I just simply cut it out. I kind of look, you know, like the look of just the cut out cardstock. Um, this one is one of my favorites. Very simple to do. I um, just popped up a couple, but I love the border here. Now you'll see in a little bit that that border doesn't have to be just Christmas. So, and then another one, this time the deer is stamped and cut out. So it really just does give it a, a little bit of a different look. Now, here are some other ones that you will be seeing um, sometime in the coming months on my website. So just ones that I've, that I've made and I have ready to share with you. We'll just kind of flip through these quickly. Now, this is the one I wanted to just talk about a second. Okay, here, totally not Christmas. I used some happy birthday words from a different stamp set. I believe it was Rose Wonder, but I made a birthday card. Great masculine card. I know we all struggle making masculine cards. So make sure you follow me on my blog and you'll see all the details on these cards. And like I said, some of them are already posted. If you want to find them, when you go to my blog, up at the top is a gallery button. Click on that and it'll show you pictures of all the cards that I've posted lately and you can quickly go to the post. So that is our Carols of Christmas bundle. So now let's move on to the Night in Bethlehem bundle. So this is another fun bundle that has stamps and thinlets that don't necessarily um, all have stamps and thinlets that match. Okay, we have our city here for our Bethlehem. These do not match the um, the stamp. The stamp is considerably smaller. Okay, just for to show you in comparison, there's the size of the stamp versus the size of the cutout or the thinlet. So when you use your thinlet, you're just getting that silhouette image. So, and this one does come in red rubber instead of photopolymer. Now, a few samples. Okay, again, none of these have been posted yet, but you're gonna see them in the coming months on my blog. Um, here I use, this is new paper, okay, with the music notes on it, but here you can see just the, the silhouette um, cutout. Now this one I stamped on there, so they're kind of similar. Um, but different. And then this I think is my favorite. Talk about simple, simple, but I think it just has a really nice wow to it. And I really finished off the inside of this one. So those are just a few things made with Night of Bethlehem bundle. But then I wanted to show you this card. So for this one, I actually took one of the thinlets from um, the Carols of Christmas one that I just showed you that cut out all of our little stars up at the top. So I kind of combined the two different ones just for a new look. So you'll see these coming up soon on the blog. So make sure you go there. Now let's flip through here. 
and we have the half full stamp set. Now I know you hear me say this a lot. I have a favorite. This is truly one of my favorites. Um, I love wine. I love to have a glass of wine at night. My husband and I, we even make our own wine. So this one just really kind of hit my heart. Um, I have made several samples with it already. I love the words, may your glass always be half full. Even though it's in the holiday catalog and it does have Merry Christmas in it, it's not necessarily a Christmas set. This is something you can use year round. Um, did quick, easy watercolor on these. I actually have a video coming up that shows you how easy I, I watercolored them. So here's just a few of the samples that I've made um, that you'll be seeing soon, but I wanted to just give you a sneak peek of those. Let's see what else. Like I said, I haven't bought a whole lot out of here yet. Um, I've you know got enough to make quite a few samples and then I have a big order going in on the first. So Mary Cafe, let's talk about this one for just a second. Now, before we can really talk just about Mary Cafe, I have to remind you about pages 30 and 31 in the annual catalog and our um, coffee cafe bundle that has thinlets. I am so excited. I wish Stampin' Up! will, or I hope they continue to do this, where they've actually taken a stamp set and a set of thinlets that come. This is a bundle, so you can save 10% on it, but now they've added a second stamp set that completely coordinates with it. Um, you can mix and match these pieces. You know, when you look at the stamp set, and I hope I don't have too much of a glare going here, there's so many stamps that are going to work together. Okay, our large coffee cup, um, pretty much the same. The image is a little bit different, um, the drawing. But other than that, here we've got our whipped cream for our latte that we can put over here. And a smaller cup, we can use our words on the smaller cup instead of the larger cup. The little dome for on your cups. Um, you know, even to mention our coffee beans and our straw and our words, all of this is going to work so well with what we got going over here. This little piece can be a small little dish or cup, but it's also going to be a wrap that all of these words fit so nicely on. And then you absolutely need um, the thinlets that go with it because a lot of these pieces are going to work on this stamp set as well as this stamp set. The one thing I thought that was kind of interesting, we have lids in both of the stamp sets that look completely different. Here we have just an outline, so you can watercolor it if you want or do it on colored cardstock or, you know, ideas are endless, but this one's a solid one. So they work all together. And then here's the framelit to cut them out. So if you already have this bundle, you absolutely want to buy this stamp set to go with it. If you love this one, make sure you buy this one as well. But I have overload of cards to show you with these. Um, you have seen some of these already, if you follow me. Okay, these are all ones that I have already posted on my website with all of the details. So if you love them, go there and find them. Easiest way is just click on the gallery button and you'll see little pictures. This one was a gift card holder. Okay, so we got a little Starbucks card on there. Now, I have a ton of them that I also have not posted yet that eventually will. So we'll just kind of flip through these. Um, so these, so far, what I'm showing you are only using the Coffee Cafe um, stamp set. I haven't brought in the new Mary Cafe one yet. Okay, but hang in there. Um, with this, these cards here, and you're gonna get a really quick sneak peek of these. This is actually the cards for my online class for September. So if you make a $50 purchase, you can get this class for free. Uh, my club members get it for free. Otherwise, you make a purchase or you can just purchase the card kit. Um, so there's details that are coming on that. Now, these cards that I have to show you, and again, these will be ones featured on my blog coming soon. These all use the Mary Cafe, but I did use some of the thinlets um, and actually some of the, I guess, in the stamps too, because the little outline wrap here, that is from um, the original Coffee Cafe set. So here's the wrap that I use, but I use the words from this one. Okay, and we made that. The dome, okay, that's not stamped or anything, but I just used the thinlet to cut that out of vellum. Our witch's brew. Um, I think most of these pieces are all out of this one, out of Mary Cafe. However, we use the thinlets. Um, and here's our coffee one. And again, you know, our little stir stick is from there. So a little bit of mixing and matching going on. With this one, um, I did use the outline for the wrap on here, but I used the whipped cream that came from Coffee Cafe. There's our lid on there, the straws from Ca Coffee Cafe. 
but the I Love You in Coffee is from Mary Cafe as far as Love It Brewing. So this may sound a little bit confusing, but in all honesty, I think you need both sets and the thinlets and you pull it all out and you work with it all together. I also made this one. Um, this little coffee cup here, you're not going to see a stamp for it. This is actually the DSP. Um, and I used, there is a framelit, oh, so I can't see, that, right here that will cut out the images from the DSP. But then the perk up, which is also cut with that same framelit, is from um, Mary Cafe. So again, mixing and matching because our words come from Coffee Cafe. That's a lot of words to say. So anyhow, there is a peek at a ton of cards using um, both Mary Cafe and Coffee Cafe along with the Thinlets. So, and once again, you'll see all of these and all the details coming up. So let's go back here. And next we have, oh yes, Painted Harvest. Now, Painted Harvest comes as a bundle. Okay, we have our stamp set and our punch for the leaves. I have to tell you that during August, when demonstrators could order from this catalog, um, this was the number one selling stamp set. So this one is hot, 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 and I love, love, love it. This card, I've already posted. It's on my blog with all of the details, um, but I do have some other cards here that you're going to be seeing in the future. So I just want to flip through these really quick um we have those i have a mess of cards here and then these ones right here this card is basically the same card i just really use the words and the leaf punch along with some of the designer series paper so lots of options the set is beautiful um, so here is a quick sneak peek these i'm going to go through pretty quick but these are all part of my online class for september so again you may get oh they're all different ways here you may get this class for free when you place an order with me in september so make sure you watch september 1st all the details on it so that is just a little sneak peek at all the stamping I've been doing this month um, with new product out of the holiday catalog that begins on September 1st. I'm going to have so many ideas to continually share with you. So watch for my new online classes on September 1st using some new products out of here. And I look forward to sharing tons of inspiration with you. Again, if you do not have this holiday catalog and you would like one and you don't have another demonstrator, give me a shout. I would be happy to send you one. So have a stamp happy day. 